now threats of racist violence. People want to kill me out there. Surrounded by supporters outside Melbourne's Royal Exhibition Building, Senator Lydia Thorpe responded to ongoing harassment from the far right in the lead up to the voice referendum. I've been in exile for four months. Four months I wasn't allowed to be in my own home. Senator Thorpe's referring to an online video of a white supremacist in a balaclava who calls out the senator's name before burning the Aboriginal flag and performing a Nazi salute. Now the senator's alleging the Prime Minister and AFP are not doing enough. He wants the f fascists to come out and get me. His violent force that he has sent to protect me can't even protect me. Senator Thorpe uh, contacted me uh, directly. I responded. Uh, to her uh, on, at the first opportunity uh, on the same day, spoke to the AFP. Uh, I don't talk about uh, what AFP uh, support is being given for obvious reasons. The suggestions uh, that have been made, uh, the content, the neo-Nazis, uh, it's completely unhinged, it's unacceptable. Leaders are worried the voice debate is sliding into a dark place. Now the Jewish community is concerned, the far right has hijacked the referendum campaign. From the Nazi salute at a Melbourne No rally last month to anti-Semitic flyers featuring Yes campaigners circulated by neo-Nazi channels. It's shocking to see these pamphlets being handed out at a political rally in Australia, uh, to see these far right extremist groups uh, picking a side here on the, on the No campaign. This is not what this referendum is about, though. I, I don't think the official no campaign was responsible. It's, it's, there, are, there are extremist elements in our community who will latch on to any contemporary issue to try to further their agenda. With nine days to go till Australia votes on an Indigenous voice, Senator Thorpe says she will not be silenced by the threats. You're going to hear from me and you are going to see me and I am not scared. Carly Williams, ABC News.